So far, the San Andreas Mercenaries update seems to be getting a lot of negative feedback, and maybe that has something to do with Rockstar removing some of the vehicles or some of the other changes that they might have made. But one incredibly cool part of this DLC is the career progress, which essentially is a way to get free money, RP, vehicles, and more. So Rockstar stick this one right in your face. As soon as you hit start next to map and online, it says career progress. Ever wondered how you're doing in life? Here you can see all the challenges you've completed in your GTA online career and all the possibilities still ahead of you. Discover new challenges, dive into more of the stuff you love, track your progress and earn massive rewards across a huge range of updates. First time here, some challenges factor into your progress so far, so already may be marked as complete. Other challenges may be familiar, but start with a clean slate right now. So basically, Rockstar is rewarding us for doing the things we've already been doing and will probably continue doing in online. And once you load into that, you see that you have a lot of progress that you can keep track of here for contact missions, businesses, recreation, heist, series mode, and special interests. Now under contact mission, you've got San Andreas Mercenaries, Operation Paper Trail, A Super Yacht Life, Gerald's Last Play, Premium Deluxe Repo Work, Madrazo Dispatch Services, and Lowriders. Under Businesses, you've got Los Santos Drug Wars, The Contract, After Hours, Smugglers Run, Gun Running, Import Export, Bikers, and Further Adventures in Finance and Felony. Under Recreation, we've got Los Santos Tuners and the Diamond Casino and Resort. Under Heist, we obviously have our four heist missions, the Cayo Perico Heist, the Diamond Casino Heist, the Doomsday Heist, and the Original Heists. Under Series Mode, we have Arena War, Adversary Mode, Survivals, Racing, and Death Matches. And then last but not least, we have Special Interest, which includes Vehicle Enthusiast and Weapons Expert. So those are all your different categories there that you can master and unlock some amazing rewards. And when you start, it's kind of going to seem like you have a lot locked. What you can actually do is press Triangle and it will toggle your rewards that you already have unlocked. So you can see I have already have a lot of stuff and I just went ahead and claimed them because it basically just adds it to your inventory. So you can see I've got lots of little hats here. I've got t-shirts, I've got service shirts, I've got hoodies, I've got a whole bunch of good stuff in here. Even one of the most interesting ones, this Clifford remote necklace that you wear around your neck. That one I found to be pretty cool too. So there's a lot of different rewards you get. I wanna run through all of them right now because the ones you get even deeper into it are so much better. So for San Andreas Mercenaries, you unlock the LS Angels cap, the Avenger livery orange shade camo. You also get the LS Angels hoodie, and then you get $150,000 and 5,000 RP for completing tier four. That is easy money right there. Same with Operation Paper Trail, you get the IAA cap, the ULP t-shirt, the President mask, and you also get the IAA hoodie. And again, on top of it, $150,000 and 5,000 RP. Now, if you complete a Super Yacht Life Tier 1, it's the Captain Cap, then you get the Galaxy Super Yacht T-shirt, followed by the Doc Tees Baseball Tee, and then a Super Life Yacht Hoodie. And then again, $150,000 and 5,000 RP. Then for Gerald's Last Play, you get the Feud Chain T-shirt, the Welcome Back Baseball Tee, the Feud Baseball Hoodie, the 420 Smoking Jacket, and again, $150,000 and 5,000 RP. Now for Premium Deluxe Repo Work, you get the PDM Cap, you get the Owe Me A Favor T-shirt, you get the Premium Deluxe Baseball Tee, the Employee of the Month Hoodie, that is hilarious, with Simeon's face on it, and then once again, $150,000 and 5,000 RP. Now for completing Madrazo's Dispatch Service, you get the Flying Bravo Andreas Cap, the Black Shrewsbury hoodie, the La Fuenta Blanca t-shirt, and then the reticle hoodie, as well as $150,000 and 5,000 RP. For completing lowriders, you get the green LS cap, the Albany dealership tee, the magnetics tee, and then the bomb hoodie, which is pretty cool, or Benny's Original Motorworks, $150,000 and 5,000 RP. For completing Los Santos Drug Wars, you get the baseball bat finish, fatal insurrection, the dildo dude t-shirt, luchadora's mask, and then you get your first vehicle unlock, the Zirconium Journey 2. So this is where things really start to ramp up. You basically get a free vehicle, and on top of that, it really ratchets up $250,000 and 10,000 RP. 
So really cool stuff right there. Then for the contract, you get the Trickster Agency's long sleeve, the blue WCC DJ Poo tee, the Record A Studios hoodie, and Lamar's custom LD Organics van. This was previously unavailable, so you're getting access to cars and vehicles that you otherwise might not be able to get. How cool is that? Again, $250,000 and 10,000 RP. Now after that, for After Hours, you get the Masonette cap, the Masonette Festival t-shirt, the Patriot Stretch livery dala dala, and then you get the Anus Stafford, another free car. This is so cool. $250,000 and 10,000 RP on top of that as well. After that, for Smuggler's Run, you get the Root and Tootin' cap, the orange trickster-type denim jacket, the Keep Running jacket, which I think is hilarious, and then you also get the Nagasaki Havoc, a free aircraft. This is just really, really cool, and then you get $250,000 and 10,000 RP. Now, after that, for Gun Running, you get the All-American Service shirt, the Disruption Logistics hoodie, you also get a free hunting camo Insurgent Custom livery, and a free car, the BF Dune FAV. I mean, this is just really awesome, all the free stuff that Rockstar is honestly giving away here. And again, $250,000, 10,000 RP. After that, it's for import-export. You get the Pegasi hoodie, the tan overcoat, the ribbon racer Banshee livery, and a free supercar, the Trufade Nero Custom. I mean, this is ridiculous what Rockstar is giving away. And then $250,000 and 10,000 RP. Then after that, for bikers, you get the UR baseball tee, the white western hoodie, the UR biker jacket, and the western demon. Free bike, that's pretty epic, quarter of a million dollars, and 10,000 RP. And for further adventures in finance and felony, you got the secure serve baseball tee, the flying Bravo pooch overcoat, then you've got the orange pinstripe smoking jacket, and the Anus Windsor drop for free, quarter of a million dollars, and 10,000 RP. This is just insane. Then after that, for Los Santos Tuners, you can get the LS Car Meat Cap, the Karen Previon Livery Atomic Tires, the Santa Capro Meat Hoodie, and a free Grotti Turismo Classic alongside a quarter of a million dollars and 10,000 RP. I mean, the rewards here and the free money are stupid. Rockstar is giving away millions of dollars. After that, it's the Diamond Casino and Resort. You get the Inside Track Baseball Tee, followed by the Diamond Casino Varsity Jacket, the Champagne Hoodie, and the Anus Paragon R for free, $250,000 and 10,000 RP. For the Cayo Perico Heist, you get the VIP Charter Jets Cap, the VDG Kaleidoscope T-Shirt, the Blue DS Panthers Cardigan, and you get the Vapid Winky for free, quarter of a million dollars and 10,000 RP. Then for the Diamond Casino Heist, you've got the Street Crimes Tank Top, the Bug Stars Hoodie, the Blue Emissive Lady Liberty Mask, and Rockstar's giving away another supercar. It is the Grotti Furia. I mean, are you kidding me here with all the free stuff that they're giving away? It's just incredible. Then for the Doomsday Heist, they're giving away the Clifford Cap, the Clifford Remote, the Kanjali Livery Tartan, and then the HVY Barrage for free alongside the money and the RP. For the original heist, you get the Golden Balaclava, the Inmate T-Shirt, the Stance Andreas Kuruma livery, and the Armored Kuruma for free, one of the best armored vehicles in the game, alongside that money and RP bonus. Then for your Arena War stuff, you get the Peter Cap, the Arena Wars T-Shirt, the Arena Wars Baseball Tee, and you also get the Snack Merger Hoodie, which is kind of cool, alongside $150,000 and 5,000 RP. For adversary modes, you get the Power Play t-shirt, as well as the Beast Baseball tee, the Gold Painted Tiger Mask, and the Deadline Hoodie, alongside the money and the RP. For survivals, you get the Survivalist cap, followed by the Flames Knife Finish, as well as the Prepared Survivor t-shirt, and then you get the Camo Prepper Hoodie, money and RP to go along with that as well. After that, it's the Grotti Furia cap for racing, followed by the Sponsors Baseball tee, the Growler Livery Tinkle Sprint, and then you've got the HSW Katana Racer Hoodie that you're going to be getting for free with more money in RP. Then for Death Matches, you get the Death Match Cap, the Death Match Baseball Tee, the Gold Tech Demon Mask, and the Death Match Hoodie along with the money in RP. And then for the Vehicle Enthusiast, you get the Monochrome Cars Baseball Tee, the bright HSW hoodie. You get the Johnny on the Spot polo. I know a lot of people are going to like that. And the Vapid Slam Truck all for free 
alongside a quarter of a million dollars in 10,000 RP. And then we're getting towards the end here. You've got, for the weapons expert, the Black Eagle Cap, the Green Vom 4 T, the Coil Arms Division Hoodie, the Vapid Speedo Custom given to you for free, and then, of course, the money and the RP. So those are all the things that Rockstar are giving away for free just by completing the various tiers. And you can click on them and you can see what you have to do. It's honestly not all that hard. A lot of you guys have probably already done so and unlocked a lot of this. So you might just have a ton of free items waiting for you when you load up this update. So let me know in those comments down below of all the items that you can unlock from the career progress, which one are you either A, the most excited about that you have unlocked or the one you're looking forward to unlocking the most. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. So let me know what you're thinking down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You wanna stay up to date on all latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel and be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.